tell the folks you were on the uh, line with Brad who said it's messed up today. What do you like about that potential fit? Um, yeah, I played with with them, I think, at the start of the year when I first um, was called up. And um, I think they're two really good players. I mean, they, they play hard. Um, they play the right way. Um, you know, they work, uh, they work hard. They can bring some good speed on that line. And um, hopefully we can, uh, you know, find some chemistry and click a little bit and, um, you know, produce and create some chances and at the same time uh, be good in our own end. You, when you've gone down to GR the last couple of times when the Revens have been on a little bit of a break, like, what do you feel like you've gotten out of those experiences? Um, I think just feeling the puck a bit more. I think that was the main uh, reason was to, you know, to play 20, 20 minutes and over and uh, play on the power play and um, just be on pretty much in every situation, every shift, get some some more reps, more touches in. And um, I mean, I, I, I like it. I, I mean, it's um, it's good to feel the puck. It's, you know, good to get some some power play touches. Um, even though, um, you know, I haven't had that in a while, I think it's always good to kind of get back into that position. And um, I think I did pretty well with uh, with what I did over there um, over those weekends when I got sent down. And um, it's, I guess it's just a bit of an easier game for sure, but um, it's just a, a bit of a confidence booster. And um, I feel really good when I go play there. What do you think you need to do to get your uh, talk show back? <laughs> I don't know. I think they have to figure it out. Um, I don't know what they're going to do, but they uh, they disown me on that one. Cold well. Thank you. Yeah. Danielle Bruce. Uh, Joe, I was just wondering from like the mental side of things of coming to Detroit and then going to GR, has that worn on you at all? Or how do you stay mentally strong? Um, yeah, it, it's, um, it's, 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 it's definitely tough. It's not, it's not easy, you know, going um, up and down and um, playing can, I guess, different roles and different positions, but um, it is what it is. And I think it's just all part of the process. And um, I know you got to stay mentally, mentally challenged in those situations too, and mentally strong. So, um, you know, I just try to keep a clear head and uh, focus on the things I got to do to, you know, to stay here and uh, be in the lineup every night and, um, try to get more opportunity, you know, um, stay on the ice extra for practice or, um, you know, work, uh, work on, you know, some skills and, um, just doing little things that'll, that'll eventually help me, um, get to the position, um, quicker and, um, get maybe a better, um, more opportunity later on down the road. Do coaches give you any specifics of the things that you do have to work on to make sure that you solidified your spot with the Red Wings? Yeah. Um, there are things that I still got to work on. Um, and I'm aware of, of those things and, um, I'm going to try to work on them every time I practice and, um, try to focus on it in the games and, um, try to apply those things, um, in a consistent basis night in and night out. And Sarkhan? Yeah, Joe, can you, can you share some of those things? Um, I think it just being, um, stronger on the puck, um, protecting the body, uh, protecting the puck better um, with my body, um, getting into those dirty areas a bit more. Um, and uh, I guess being always better defensively, um, having better stick and being more aware of my own end. Um, I think that'll that'll help me a lot. Um, getting, earning the coach's trust, uh, being able to play hard defensively and, um, you know, not to make too many mistakes, make strong plays. And um, I know that I, you know, I got to be better in those areas. There are times where, um, you know, the, my plays aren't strong enough. So I got to make sure that I make those plays and not give other teams and I guess other lines that I play against easy chances when I'm on the ice. Are, are you the center on that line or Rasmussen? Or is it kind of interchangeable? Or um, I, I mean, today I was center on that line, yes. Um, I mean, the lineup always changes with guys in and out. And, um, you know, yesterday at practice was uh, – different lineup with with larks not practicing so um i mean i have no say on that but for today it was yeah it was center on the line because you played uh, both the uh, center and wing year um i mean i, I know you're they, they think of you as a center long term in your future but you like just that uh, the flexibility uh it kind of gives you that uh, versatility that, that you are able to uh go to wing if depending on what they need yeah, I'm, I am able to play wing. I've played wing, wing in the past, and um, it's a little different from center, but um, I'm 
gotten to the point where I'm used to it now and I've played enough wing to, to be comfortable in that position. So, um, you know, wherever my, my name draws in in the lineup and if it's at center, it's at wing, um, I got to do the best with that position. Thanks. Yeah. Ted Goldman. Hey, Joe, this is kind of like similar to Danielle's question, but do you feel like you're mentally more pre prepared now for when they, if you do have to go to Grand Rapids and come back up here like a couple different times, do you feel like you're mentally prepared now? And it's like, well, this is pro hockey. I, I have to live with it. I know how I know how I have to deal with it. Um, yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, it's happened, I think, twice now and earlier on in the season. So um, I'm a bit used to it and um, knowing what I have to accomplish when I when I go down there for, um, you know, the, the couple games that I have to go down there for. But um, for sure, you know, I I guess every time we have an extended amount of period off, um, I have, I guess my, my chances are go, of going there are much higher for the weekend or whatever. Hey, do they kind of kid you around in the Grand Rapids locker room when you show up then for the weekend or something like that? Um, well, like last time, last weekend when I went down there, they think of me as a rental player on the weekend. <laughs> that was the, the joke around there. And um, it's nothing really like, like a ringer, kind of like a ringer. I can control, yeah. but um, yeah, they, they joke around. And um, at first, it was only you know showing up for home games and all that stuff. So <laughs> they they always find something to bug me, um, bug me on a little bit. Yeah, a little different subject, but playing Toronto tomorrow night, like a hockey night in Canada. I think you guys played Montreal on a Saturday night earlier in the season. Is that a big, big, uh, you know, big? A charge for you guys i mean is that kind of fun to do on a playing them on a saturday night you know it's hockey night in canada and everything do you guys still get a thrill out of that yeah i i mean i definitely do and i'm sure the guys do in a lot crew um saturday night it's definitely um you know saturday night at home and um you know we've been getting good crowds all year long and uh, we know we're gonna have a good crowd tomorrow and especially against toronto and original six matchup and um it's it's going to be a fun one i'm sure the guys are uh, going to re be really up for it and um i guess we're all excited to to play tomorrow i mean were you a leafs fan or a leafs hater growing up um i don't know i i wasn't a montreal fan either so i i wasn't a toronto fan i was a washington capitals fan i admired Obi when i was younger so i i didn't really pay that much attention to the leafs sounds good thanks for this joe Yep. All right, right here. Hey, Joe, how you doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing well. Um, you know, kind of a, a few follow-ups to questions that have sort of been asked already is that that the Red Wings edict for years for fellows who are on this kind of Detroit Grand Rapids train back and forth is to dominate at the AHL level, to go to GR and, you know, become a complete hockey player based on the last couple of times you've been there, what you've been able to accomplish, do you feel that you've done that, that, you know, you are proving yourself that, you know, I've, I've, I've not that you have Grand Rapids down, but I'm doing everything the Red Wings have asked me. I'm ready for that next step. Um, yeah. I mean, that's, I think recently, uh, I guess the last four games that I played there, I've um, just felt, you know, so much more comfortable at that level. And um, especially, you know, obviously having the help with playing um, most of my games here in the NHL, um, just going back there, it's um, kind of a different pace for me at this point and just feels, a, you know, a little slower uh, compared to this level. And um, at the start of the year, I wouldn't really necessarily say that I was, um, you know, being dominant at that level. I did have some, you know, some games where, um, I think I was just okay. Um, I wasn't, you know, dominant player, but I think, um, you know, with having the NHL games played under my belt and going back down there uh, with a whole lot of confidence and um, just being more comfortable on the ice definitely helps a lot to, um, to make me thrive better at that level. Um, also, I know that, you, you know, you consider yourself a center and it appears now, even though you have played the wing, as you said earlier, um, is that really a good vote and shot of confidence that it really does appear that when Lashell talks or when your name's brought up, I mean, they do view you as a center. Do you think in a small sense that that is kind of an accomplishment for you that 
it, it def, definitely looks like that uh, Joe Valeno is a center for the Detroit Red Wings. Um, yeah, for sure. I mean, it definitely uh, takes on a lot of responsibility to, to play in the middle ice position. And, um, you know, you got to be, you know, good defensively. You, um, you know, you got to be strong on pucks. You got to be good in your own end. So, um, you know, and being able to, uh, to have that trust and, and confidence and to keep earning that trust uh, definitely means a lot. And, um, you know, with the opportunity that I get when I play center, I got to make the most of it and show that I'm capable of being a, a natural centerman in the NHL. And um, that's what I, you know, really want to be for this team. And um, I think I, uh, I do really well in those positions. I've played center my whole life and um, I know, I know how to make those reads as a centerman. I know how to, you know, find those positions in, in, the, in my own end. Um, so I just got to keep getting better and um, keep gaining the coach's trust and, um, you know, being, uh, being reliable defensively as well. And uh, finally, I, on behalf of everyone, I think everyone is really looking forward to the, uh, the next Mojo show. So uh, I, I, I think your, your place is secure, my friend. Thanks. Thanks, Joe. Yeah, thanks. Hopefully Razor doesn't take over. <laughs> Last question, Carly Johnston. Oh, we're talking about tomorrow night. We're welcoming in the Toronto Maple Leafs again. Last time they were in town, they had a leg up the better part of the game. So what's going to change your gameplay as a team to be able to shut them down tomorrow night? Um, I think we just got to be ready to compete and battle really hard. You know, they got a lot of skill on that team, a lot of um, offensive firepower. Um, you know, they like to play in the offensive zone. So we got to make sure we're, uh, we're hard on them. We win our battles. Um, you know, we're physical and uh, we just got to outcompete them. Um, so I, it's a pretty straightforward game plan. And um, I think that uh, when we do those things and we're hard to play against, and we don't give them too many chances, too many easy chances. Um, I think we were, we have better chances of winning the hockey game. Nice. And uh, Saturday night, Maple Leafs in town. We know it's going to be rambunctious. Do you feed off the energy of the fans? Uh, yeah, hundred um, percent. You know, the, the crowd has been unbelievable. Like I said, the whole year and um, the fans have been great. So um, it definitely gives us that extra boost and extra edge on the ice. We certainly feel it, um, you know, on the bench and when we're, when we step on the ice. So um, the fans have definitely didn't disappoint uh, definitely haven't disappointed at all this year. And, um, you know, hopefully we can give them a, you know, a good, uh, a good hockey game tomorrow. Thanks, Joe. Yeah. Thanks everyone. We're back with Coach Blaschel.